Why did you choose to play a strat? I didn't choose a strat. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to answer some of your burning questions, which I compiled over time from YouTube and Instagram, although mostly Instagram. It will be divided into five sections, namely about me, food, gear and tone, music skills, and other questions. So let's dive into it. The first section is about me. Are you a professional guitarist or studying and of course like medicine or art? Yes, number one, I am a professional guitarist. And number two, I graduated from my degree. So it was a master's degree in music business management and I did that from University of Westminster. Are you single? No, I'm not single. I am very happily married. When did you start playing? School, teacher, or by yourself? So I started playing when I was 12 and I got a little bit more serious when I was 15. Um, my dad was a guitarist so he taught me my first three chords which is A, D, and E. And my first song is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. After that, I learned by myself, go online, know that stuff. Eventually when I was 18 and I decided to take it more seriously, that's when I sought for a teacher. You know, the rest is the history. How tall are you? The height is very average. I think I'm 165, probably 166 centimeters. Have you been playing guitar for a long time? Yes, I've been playing since I was 12. So yes, it's a very long time. Do you speak Spanish? No, I don't speak Spanish. In fact, I've been getting a lot of Spanish comments. You know, Instagram, they don't really have a C translation. Like it just goes on and off sometimes. So there's no way I can copy paste from Instagram as well, unless if I type it in. So it's just gonna to take me like 10 times the time just to reply for a comment and I try to reply to comments so if you can help me please write in English where are you now I am currently based in London United Kingdom how old are you age does not matter unless you're cheese or wine what is your native language my native language is actually Hakka it's like a dialect from Chinese it kind of comes from Chinese so the words are the same but you recite or pronounce it differently. What's your favorite film? My favorite film, there's this one film that etched in my memory for a long time, which is The Banker. It was played by Anthony Mackie and Samuel Jackson. It's a true story and about racism and all that stuff that I think is a really good film that you should watch it. Very well directed as well. Where are you from? I'm from Malaysia. I have to ask, does your hair get caught in the strings while you play? Yes, it gets caught. So before this length, my earlier videos, you can see my hair is even longer. That's why I always, you know, flip my hair <laughs> to whilst I play. Okay, the next section, gear and tone. So what's the best guitar brand in your opinion? I, it's kind of hard to pick one. I've only tried a handful of them, so I can't be the best judge for it. In terms of beauty and versatility, I think PRS wins um, Fender as well <laughs> I don't know What am I talking about? What's your dream guitar? My dream guitar is that anything of whoever is willing to build according to my specs <laughs> To like build according to what I want And build it in high quality I think that's my dream guitar really Why did you choose to play a Strat? I didn't choose a Strat The Strat chose me and I love it How mix ready are your camper tones? Do you still have to play with EQ and effects in your DA? DAW Very mix ready, honestly You can just go off the shelf from there Yeah, if you're a guitarist You gotta make your tone as mix ready as possible The only time where I add EQ and compressor Is just to balance things out really So I don't do much But whatever that is in my camper It's that's the sound. Do you still have your first guitar with you? Officially, this is my first guitar that my dad that my dad bought me when I was like 18, I think, or 19, I don't remember. But the very very first guitar, because my dad isn't was a guitarist. I mean he still is a guitarist. So because my dad is a guitarist, so he's got guitars lying around. So I just play it. And the first guitar that I played it was like just this classical guitar. I don't have it now with me. But it's with my dad. What overdrive pedal do you recommend? I recommend my overdrive pedals, which is um, Joseph Johnny Box and Greenhouse Effect um, Outlier. If you want to check it out, uh, I did the overview of my whole pedal board, my video. Just check it out right there or right there. So, individual pedals or multi effects? Very good question. So, in the past, if you say multi effects, 
it's like the Boss ME20 or ME50 but the time has moved on and technology has been so amazing to all of us like a camper you can actually call a camper like a multi effects um, but I think a camper is more than a multi effects in my stage of life and now I would choose multi effects but not those not the like Boss ME20 or so but um, definitely like my camper, like a profiler. You can just bring it on tour without worrying about anything. Yeah, I think a camper is like totally awesome for that. Does the job very well. What is your favorite pedal? Every pedal on my pedal board is my favorite pedal. That sounds great. Is it reverb or the pedal causing the sound? It adds a lot to the chords you are playing. Recently, I've been using this delay that is like a little bit delay. It's like a delay of a delay. It kind of makes the sound, the wave goes like that and just kind of open up <laughs> into a whole another like cave kind of thing it's both reverb and delay really is your EQ on all the time or only for a solo boost? if the amp is giving me enough it depends on menus then I wouldn't use the EQ and if it's like a horrible amp or maybe if I've got ear fatigue then yeah I would need the EQ to give myself a boost love how you have such flair yet control of the guitar how do you get the sound? by hard work really <laughs> and a lot of listening nice play is it recorded live? sounds so clean yes everything is recorded live it's plugged into an audio interface that's why it's so clean it's not a room mic okay next section food tell us about your diet honestly i have no diet at all i just eat whatever i want i don't have the cravings for um fried food or like fast food guess i generally eat quite healthily but well, unless maybe soy sauce is not healthy probably i don't know too much sodium favorite dish to eat i love a warm bowl of lasagna i don't know i know people have something against lasagna in this country but i just I love lasagna a lot like I don't care if it's beef lasagna, lamb or veggie I really don't care, I just want to eat lasagna Have you ever had In-N-Out Burger? No, not yet I really want to have In-N-Out Burger because I kept on hearing about it Do you like Spanish food? I've had Portuguese food before Forgive me if I'm culturally wrong I've had Portuguese once, that's it uh, but it kind of reminds me of Thai food for some reason Do you like French food? I don't think I've ever had like proper French food before I've been to Paris twice I only remember pastry and the bakeries Everything just smells so good The next one, my music skills When did you start playing guitar? Did you have a teacher or it's just native? I don't think anything is native honestly Any skills in the world you kind of need to put in your um, effort and hard work to make it work for you so How do you find balance between being appreciated for your talent and for your beauty? You kind of need to use it so what I think is I mean I don't think I'm very pretty honestly but if all of you think it is well, thank you so much Well you know just use it really <laughs> I'd like to be appreciated in both sense, my talent and my beauty. The so blues, jazz, rock or metal. In terms of music, I like blues, jazz and rock playing. I like blues, jazz and rock. Uh, metal is not really my thing. Yeah, I mean, I know I play a lot of 80s metal, but mm, you know. <laughs> Do you ever get stage fright? I think my first five years, I always get stage fright, but eventually you kind of get used to it and get over it. And now I don't get stage fright anymore. The more the merrier, the more people, the more audience I get more empowered and I get more energetic Who is your favorite guitarist? At the moment, Lukather and Satriani is always on the top of my list <laughs> Do you write your own music? Yes, I write my own music I have my music on Spotify and Apple Music and all those platforms and you can check it out Just search Ricky Lee or head to my website rickyleerocks.com to check out my music and my work How much time do you spend on practicing? It used to be more but now um, my attention span is like 2 hours a day Yeah, I think that's like good enough to keep keep me going it's more of like quality practice at this moment maybe when you're younger then or you started out quantity is good can you play other instruments equally as you can on guitar uh no not at all can you sing and play guitar at the same time yes do you know music theory or sight reading yes i know music theory i have grade 5 abrsm and sight reading yes i know that too but i haven't been reading for a long time so i can't re sight read to save my life too bad what is your favorite riff recently i've been 
getting into Tom Morello's music, he creates some of the coolest riffs. Yeah, check him out. Can you do Canon Rock cover for us, please? No. Any tips for beginners in terms of scale, patterns, approach? Plan the next line. You know, you don't just get stuck in here. If you know that the next line is higher, you know, try to link it all over, make it diagonal rather than play something here and then you jump up there. So yeah, it looks cooler, sounds better, and creates more interest across the fretboard. How did you get this far to playing the way you are now? Hard work? The last section? Have you ever met any of your guitar heroes? Yes, I've met John Petrucci. In fact, the whole band, Dream Theater. It was during their 25th anniversary tour. It was lovely. What is your definition of classic rock? The people that pioneered rock and roll and guitar. What's your favorite band? My favorite band is Toto. I love them. And Marilyn. But yeah, I love Toto more. Best Dream Theater album, The Astonishing. It's like a film score kind of album, actually. It's really cool. I have the album. It's all signed as well. If you could join any band past or present, who would it be? I would join Toto, really, definitely. I think they can challenge my musicianship a lot and, you know, my skill-wise and theory and all that stuff. It just makes you a better musician. What do you suggest to the people who wants to play guitar? Just do it. Why are you still asking me? Do it now. So, we've finished 50 questions. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to ask me any questions and I'll probably make an answer to you. Burning questions part two we'll see you again bye hi everyone thank you so much for watching till the end don't forget to smash that like button leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't have a nice day till next time bye